In today's video, we're going to learn how to upload files to Facebook. Currently, Facebook only allows photos, videos, GIFs, and web links to be posted to your personal pages. However, we're going to talk about some workarounds and also show you how to upload PDFs and other files to a group that you're a member of or a business page. I will go ahead and put timestamps in the description below so that you could jump to the part of this video that's most beneficial to you. First, let's talk about some workarounds to get a PDF onto a personal Facebook page. Since Facebook allows you to post a photograph, if you have a PDF that's not very complicated, you can convert it to a JPEG file or you can take a screenshot of it and go ahead and post it that way. Facebook will see it as a photograph. Now keep in mind we're still talking about our personal Facebook page. What if you want to post something that is a bit more complicated, like a multi-page document or an interactive form? The best thing for you to do then is to use a file sharing service like Google Drive, Microsoft OneDrive, or even Dropbox. Put the document there and then once it's online, create a public link for sharing and then share that link on your personal Facebook page. So now I'm going to show you how to upload a file to a group that you belong to. As you can see on my screen, I'm on my personal Facebook page. I'm going to go up to this top bar here and click on the groups button. It looks like three people. And now if we look over to the left, you can see a group that I manage and also groups that I have joined. If you click on any of those groups, I'm now in the group that I manage, which is Brookside Subdivision. If you look underneath the name of the group, you'll see more in this bar here. Click on that, click on files. Now you have the option to upload a file. I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. I'm gonna to navigate to something that I would like to upload click upload. I can write something about it if I would like to. I don't really want to do that in this case. And I'm going to click on post. Now, as you can see, here is the document that I just uploaded. If we go to the discussions, it's still uploading here, but if we go to the discussions, you can see that the document that I just uploaded is now a post. It's the most recent post on the group. Now, let's say you have a very, very large document that exceeds the limit of what Facebook will allow you to post. What can you do in that situation? Well, as I mentioned earlier, you could use a service like Dropbox or Google Drive and simply post a link to whatever it is you're trying to share. Or if you look at my screen, you can see I have a, a file here. You can convert your file to a zip file, which compresses the information into a smaller bundle so that you can share it. I'm on a Mac and how you create a zip file on a Mac is right click and then click on compress. Now I have a zip file that I can share on Facebook. If you're on a Windows computer, the process is very similar. Locate the file you want to compress, right click on the file and choose send to from the menu and then click compress to create a zip file. Although I do not have a business page to provide you with a demonstration of uploading to it, I imagine it is very similar to how you would upload to a group. If you do have a business page, please share your experiences with us below. We'd love to hear from you and hopefully you'll help someone else who's trying to share information with their community. And before you go, please boot that like button. It really helps me out and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.